All right, folks, I have an idea. So I'm going to share with you and you let me know what you think about it. That's how this whole thing works. I tell you something, you tell me something back in the comments or another video. It's back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> um, so anyway, here's my idea. I was just reviewing uh, an Emerson Mini Commander uh, from 2005. So it's an older knife and I was trying to explain the texturing on the G10. And you guys know if you watch reviews or if you do knife reviews, um, you're going to know that texturing is something that's often brought up, okay? How does it feel in your hand? It's part of the ergonomics. Is it going to rip up my jeans? Is it going to slide out of my hand if it's raining? It's important to you to know about these knife products if they're textured properly, okay? Or at least to your liking. Some people like a more aggressive texture. Some people like it smooth, whatever. Um, but I came up with this idea to better um, understand and relate a message uh, to all the people watching the videos as to how aggressive or non-aggressive the texturing is. And that is, drum roll please, mm -hmm. <sighs> another horrible drum roll fail, um, to just equate it to sandpaper grits. That simple. I think it's a great idea, to be honest. Um, so basically how this works, if you want to participate in this, I think it, it would work be best if the knife community as a whole started adopting this idea is if you're looking at your G10, and it works specifically with G10, okay, because it is a more aggressive cut usually. Um, carbon fiber, for the most part, is smooth, polished. Sometimes it is textured, but it's like kind of a weaved carbon fiber. It's not really the same as G10. But as far as G10 goes, different companies do different kinds of patterns in it. Some is more aggressive, some is more polished, you know. But I think if you use uh, sandpaper grit, as a reference, it would be more realistic for the viewers to understand what that means. So for example, if you have a really fine, smooth G10 texturing, like I did in this specific review, um, I would say like it's a thousand grit sandpaper. Because most people out there have experience with sandpaper. And even if you don't, you can go to a hardware store and get a variety pack of like 10 or 15 different grits for like five bucks, you know? And at least you can keep it at home. So you're watching these reviews, you know, most people do know what different sandpaper grits are going to be like. I'm talking about the rare occasion that you don't know what sandpaper is. Um, but if you don't, like I said, you get a variety pack. And the lower the grit, the rougher it is. But at least you have this actual idea. So if I say, hey, this G10 is 600 grit, you know, texturing. You would, in your mind, go, oh my god, I know exactly what that feels like. I know the difference between 600 grit and 100 grit, you know. And obviously, if you, if you don't know already, the lower the number uh, with the sandpaper grit, the rougher it is, okay? And then once you get past 1,000, it's pretty much smooth. It's almost like emery board, you know? But uh, I don't know. I thought that was a pretty good idea, um, and I thought I'd pass it on to you guys, and you let me know what you think. You know, post in the comments. If you think it's a stupid idea, let me know. I'm always <laughs> I'm open for a discussion here, back and forth. Uh, so anyway, I just want to pass on the info and see what you guys thought of it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Listen to me babble for a little bit. Always appreciated. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.